according to the asu national president what we're having today is a renegotiation it, it's not coming for uh, and that is the point you see that is the point i'm saying that there is no basis if you have a government that is responsible to renegotiate there's no point of view of that agreement so so would you that's say that's would you say that the government is, is not being serious that is going on is to make government response. Okay, how do you want to start paying? I mean, that's an agreement that has to be implemented. Mm. So when you are talking of renegotiation, it's not a downward review. It's the basis of need. In fact, you have to value that agreement. It's not the same for much as it was in 2009. But the government, the, the government on its part has said it can't borrow and then the economic situation and realities on ground would not uh, afford it uh, enough, uh, enough it's resources. It's an irresponsible excuse to... of any government. Why do you have a government? You want to run the economy as a government. You want to run the policy as a government. So there is no basis for such a government to exist, even such a state. That's why you have a government. But when you run the economy, you see on the on the basis of private interest, that's what you have been. Mm. Majority of those in government today have their children in expensive schools abroad. And ask, where are the sources of their funds? Surely for public public wealth. There's hardly any of them that live on their private income. It's public work. So each time they tell you there is no fund, what simply means is this. We cannot fund public welfare. We cannot fund public education. We cannot fund public aid. But there is always money to loot to fund their private interest. You see, you see what is at stake now, and that's what we want to see beyond it. It's not an issue of the federal government. Is the people versus the government. In terms of how do our resources be used, Nigeria is rich. Nigeria is never broke. But if you assemble 100 Nigerians alone now who have stolen the country dry, you can get more than 50 times the demand by the Academy Staff Union to revitalize the rest system. So, what is at stake? goes beyond the ASU. ASU is only being a responsible union to see patriotic about the interests of our country. Comrade Aremu, yeah. what, what we'd like to hear is this uh, uh, call for a, a mass protest, a, a warning strike, the effect it would have, would it cause any change to occur? Because we've already had one and people would say, uh, we haven't seen the government even take a look at, you know, these demands as urgent as it should. That's the point that we are talking about. Everybody sees this as a problem of two fighting. It's not a problem of two fighting. It's about the future of our country. How can we have the children in schools all for six months? You have undermined the futures of those children. Every nation thinks about the future. What development? Where you cannot develop your own capacity. So you want to start promoting Boko Haram? Promoting bandits? What are the results you get? Negative education? What do you get? You have insecurity.